Um, if, if the comics up here are doing a really good job and you guys are really enjoying it, I'm not going to do any material because uh, I'm just going to drink instead. Is that all right with everybody? All right. And then if they don't do so great, then uh, I'll come up and I'll t tell you guys some stuff. Is that all right, too? Yeah, you guys are so easy going. You're better than my boss. All right, that's awesome. Uh, and so, Matt, well, another round of applause for Matt Gallant. Hey, let him know. You enjoyed it. That was good. Your next performer about to come to the stage, I have not seen um, before, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this next act. Uh, Mr. Greg Roberts, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! My name's Greg. So, uh, I'm 19. I know it's pretty late, but I've basically just started going through puberty. Um, I'm starting to get the little facial hairs and whatnot. It's, it's a pain in the ass, because a lot of, like a lot of guys, when I shave, I get a really itchy neck. But I look at the itching in the same way that a lot of people get pain, and if you distract yourself, you won't really realize it. So, I figured the best way to distract myself is to shave my pubes at the same time <laughs> as I shave my face. <laughs> And if you shave your pubes at the same time, you just have way worse things to worry about. No. <laughs> Obviously, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have to shave your pubes, but in this crazy, crazy world we live in, when you don't want to do something, you can basically let somebody else do it for you. And my way of doing this is I book vasectomy appointments, I go in, I get prepped, and then at the last minute I pull out. My friends just recently moved into an apartment, actually, less than a month ago, and uh, I'm pretty sure you could already uh, make a pretty good toupee from all the pubes on their toilet seat. Yeah. The best part is, though, one guy's Asian and one guy's white, so you can really tell who's who. <laughs> um, sticking with the topic of pubes, I don't really want you guys looking at me thinking that I'm completely bald downstairs. It's mostly a joke. Um, I, my personal opinion is I don't think any guy should be completely bald. Just looks too weird and wrinkly. But anytime I get a, a temptation, I, I keep on my cell phone a picture of what it looks like, and the temptation goes away. So that's one reason I really like technology. Another reason I don't want to go on. I don't really want to go on and on about cell phones, but I will brag a little bit. Uh, the most proud I was of my cell phone was the day that I spelt cunt wrong and it corrected me. <laughs> I swear to God it happened. Uh, and I wasn't using it in a derogatory term, just like, what up, cunt? Something like that. <laughs> it, it plays music and it spells cunt, so that's good. People, uh, people listen to music a little bit too much these days. Probably pretty much 24-7, some people do it. And I, the way I figure... There, might, there must be a lot more people dying with headphones in, basically dying with the soundtrack. And this scares me because I really have to be careful of what I listen to because I don't want to be walking across the street, get hit by a car and die to girls just want to have fun. That's not an honorable death. <laughs> and my luck, I'll have the homophobic paramedic, I ain't saving this bitch. <laughs> uh, what I do now... <laughs> what I do now is I listen to songs that are going to save my life, uh, like uh, Mika. Relax! Take it easy. Sorry for the cracking. Uh, <laughs> or listen to Bee Gees, Staying Alive. So, uh, pretty weak joke, so I won't continue. With that. <laughs> One thing a lot of other people are doing is going to movies these days. Everybody does that. But people are really buying it in 3D, and I don't like it, but a lot of people do. It, everything's going to be in 3D soon, because they even have 3D TV. So next you're going to have commercials, music videos, the news. Uh, and the scariest of all is porn. Uh, 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 when you first hear it, 3D porn sounds pretty cool. But you have to picture yourself masturbating and Peter North finding three foot comb shots right past your back. <laughs> very, very scary to masturbate to. And it, it's never the cute amateur couple having sex for the fifth time in their dorm room. It's the triple X hardcore, bigger cocks, bigger boobs, juicier asses, coming at you with IMAX 3D, smacking you in the face. <laughs> And it, yeah, if anything, that's just plain distracting. I won't be able to stay focused. <laughs> One thing I have found that makes 3D better, probably movies, I'm not sure about porn, but makes 3D movies better is an illegal substance, weed. Um, I've been smoking quite a lot of it lately. Uh, and the problem with that is that the prices rack up. 
quite fast. So what I've been doing is I've been performing sexual favors uh, for weed, uh, pushing tricks, if you will. The problem with this is I really wish there were more female drug dealers because I'm tired of sucking dick for weed. Um, I had a problem with weed when I was at school. I was smoking a lot of it, and I also had a meal plan. And this is just a formula. Yeah, it's a formula for the freshman 15. But I was looking down, and my belly was expanding, and, and quickly enough, I got control of my munchies, basically to the point where I was actually losing weight. And what I realized was the skinnier I got, the bigger my penis looked. So I basically stopped eating altogether. And my girlfriend really likes that. So. <laughs> I'm obviously against the prohibition of marijuana. I think it'd be cheaper and safer for, if it were legal, let alone what they spend looking for it. But um, luckily I haven't had very many problems with police. Any run-in? Yeah, any run-in is always good. They let me go and stuff. But uh, when I was younger, I thought I was going to do something drastic if I ever got caught. Um, I thought I would drop my pants and start masturbating. Because it just must be way more awkward for somebody to arrest someone for public masturbation than it is for smoking weed. And you get back to the station and all those cop buddies would be like, Was it big? Did you touch it? Did he finish? And I would pretty much have full intentions of finishing. <laughs> One day I hope to finish inside of someone and create a baby, because uh, that's how it works, in case anybody here didn't know. And why I want to have children is because you can lie through your teeth to children, and they will have no idea what you're saying or what you're talking about. Uh, when they ask me questions, I'm going to give them crazy, obscure answers like, uh, Dad, where does rain come from? Well, rain comes from when God takes a shower. Where does thunder come from? Well, that's when God stubs his toe and gets angry. Or, Dad... Where does snow come from? Well, that's when God decides to come everywhere and freeze it. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave you with that. Thank you. Great, Robin.